That's it. Get out of the car. Out. Thank you. I tasted the world. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus in prayer, thanking and praising you that your word does not return void. It is written, you will never leave, forsake us, and you will always be with us. And I just thank you for being with my husband wherever he goes today. Amen. I couldn't help but notice you were staring at me. No, I wasn't. Hey, you were. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. Hey, what's the biggest Where excuse me? Get? I was next. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't know you were in line. I'll just I'll just be a minute. So the Slurpee, the biggest size? The mega Slurpee is 64 ounces. <laughs> That's like 10 pounds of Slurpee, dude. Yeah. I'll take one of those. Wow. $30 so can I mix the flavors, or do I have to just do one flavor? Because I like to, you know, mix things up a little bit. Whatever you want, man, it's fine. Sweet! You should get one of these. Are you finished? No, I don't know. Should I get uh, just a Slurpee, or maybe a Slim Jim and a cupcake? $30 on Pop 6, please, thank you. 
people have no manners. Come on. Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I dropped my phone. I was in a hurry. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Why the hurry? I need to get to Pittsburgh. I wasn't paying attention. Look, are you okay? Pittsburgh? I gotta go to Pittsburgh. Can I, can I hitch a ride? I'm... No, no, look. I just need to make sure you're okay. I don't have time. I mean, you spilled most of my Slurpee. I mean, the polite thing to do is just give me Look, a ride. Look, buddy, I'll buy you another Slurpee, but I am not giving you a ride. Now, are you okay? Yeah, but... Oh! I don't know. I think I may have caught a little bit of the whiplash. You know? <laughs> <coughs> and this cough. Oh. <laughs> uh, really? Hey, you like singing? I love to sing. I love songs and I'm on a road trip. No. Well, uh, okay, I'll sing. No. Okay, maybe later. What about games? Why does he play game? No. No? How about I Spy? I Spy is something bald. <laughs> That's you! <laughs> oh, we got fun. <sighs> My name's Elijah, by the way. I'm Elisha. <laughs> right, come on. What are the chances of us having the same name? Besides, you look more like a Robert. My name is E-L-I-S-H-A, not Elijah and not Robert. No, it's Elijah, E-L-I-J-A-H. See, it's a ja, not a sha. Ja, not sha. Ja, not sha. Ja, 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 ja. Not the sha, 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 sha. The ja man. Generino, ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. It's Elisha. I don't know. You look like a Robert. You know what? I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. I knew it! See, I'm so good at guessing names. <sighs> well, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll call you Jim. Can you just pick a name and be done? All right, look, Robert, we're going to be traveling together for a while, so we should try to get to know each other. So, um, okay. Um, what, what family position would you want to have more than any other? Family? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, you know, like brother, sister, mother, father, grandfather, grandmother, uncle, aunt, cousin, first cousin, second cousin, third cousin, twice removed. You know, family position. Where does that even come from? Heaven. We all come from heaven. Just answer the question. I guess I always wanted to be a dad. Oh, whatever. All right, that's kind of boring. But all right, tell me, why would you want to be a dad? Well, my dad died when I was little. I don't know. I, I just always wanted to be a father. Why am I even telling you this anyway? I would like to be an honorary uncle. I don't even know what that is. Well, you know, it's a, you have a best friend. Best friend gets married and starts having kids, and I'm always over the house, and the kids don't know what to call me, so it's like, well, you know, uh, you're like a, like a brother, so uh, you're an uncle. Uncle Elijah. Honorary Uncle Elijah. Here you go. Got it. So, what animal would you like to be? Look, I've got a lot on my mind, and I don't want to answer a bunch of dumb, what do you want to be questions. 
I'd like to be a monkey. Then I could drink banana Slurpees all day long. What kind of a monkey drinks banana Slurpees? What other flavor are they gonna drink? <laughs> so, uh, is this an antique or what? No, it's just old. Well, what's its name? But the truck? Yeah, is it a boy or a girl? I don't know. Maybe it says on the registration. No, no, it goes up the last digit of the VIN number. Like, you know, if it's odd, it's a girl. If it's even, it's a boy. Well, I can't check while I'm driving. Oh, I'll look. There. No, sit down. Let go of the steering wheel. That was nuts. Nope, it's a girl. So, what do you want to name her? Nothing. Oh, come on. Just pick a girl's name. Any name. Any girl's name. Just pick one. All right. Charlene. She looks like a Charlene. It's solved then. Yeah, yeah. Charlene, Charlene. Lean, mean, GM machine. <laughs> this is a Ford. Okay, well, uh, how about Charlene the Queen? Or, uh, Mr. Clean Charlene. <laughs> All right, that's enough. between jobs right now, you know? I haven't really found that, that one thing that I want to sink my teeth into and you know, fall in love with and do every day. That sounds like something someone who was recently fired would say. So, what brings you to Pittsburgh? I'm meeting someone. Ooh, Robbie has a girlfriend. What are you gonna do? You gonna take her to a ball game? Ooh, baseball, no basketball, no football. Oh, hockey. Oh, no, no, no. You're gonna take her for a, a nice little walk around the lake. No, no. You're gonna take her to the roller rink. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm not meeting a woman. Not like that, anyway. Oh. <clears throat> I see. I'm not meeting a man either. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, all right. Tell me then, who's uh, who's number seventy-one in the Penguins? Evgeny Malkin. All right, touche, touche. All right, all right. Oh, so you want to know why I'm going to, to Pittsburgh? Okay. Uh, well, you know, God has told me, and His plan for my life is for me to find somebody and help them find out what God's plan is for their life. So, God's plan for your life is to reveal his plan for someone else's life to them. Yep, that's what I said. No offense, but none of that makes sense. Well, what's God's plan for your life? Now look, I don't mean to give you the cold shoulder, but I got a lot on my mind. Can we just listen to the radio? Did you ever wonder where those sayings came from? Like what? Like you just said, I don't mean to give you the cold shoulder. I mean, is your shoulder cold? What about chip on your shoulder? Or chip off the old block. Yeah, or kick the bucket. Going cold turkey. Uh, going the whole nine yards. More than you can shake a stick at. Bite the bullet. Rule of thumb. Got red handed. Sleep tight. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Spill the beans. Uh, don't cry with spilled milk. Uh, oh, what's the matter? Can't get your tongue? <laughs> See what I did there? It was another saying. <laughs> oh, I killed me. Hey, I know. Let's sing some songs. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Yeehaw! Join with me. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. All right. Enough. Well, people say I have the voice of an angel. Yeah, well, whoever told you that lies like a demon. What's this mean? I'm going to roll the window down, and that'll give more echo, so it's like a, I'm in a concert hall. Ready? Here we go. She'll be coming. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, that tasted like a ladybug. Ugh. Well, that's a sign. Don't sing. Ah, is this is this a phone? An old phone, old truck? What, what's with you? I don't need a camera or a computer. I just need a phone that makes phone calls. Bring, bring. Hello, Alexander Graham Bell. Can I have my phone back, please? Uh, that phone durable? Yeah, that's part of the reason I like it. Now, will you just please put it down? I, uh, already did, uh, out the window. You, you did what? You accidentally dropped my phone out the window? Well, I was doing my Alexander Graham Bell bit, and it just kind of jumped out of my hands and, uh, out the window. Why do you have the window down anyway? Well, because I wanted to you know, sing loud and have it reverberate and sound like I was in a concert hall. Roll the window up. Roll it up and I don't want you to roll it down again the whole trip. All right, where did you drop it? I don't know. Ooh, I know. We can call the phone and when we hear it ringing, we'll know where it is. And how do you propose that we do that? It was my phone that you lost. You have a good point there. Yeah. Okay. Ooh! Uh, it's just... It's just a sock. You want it? Will you just hurry up? I don't have time for this. So I uh, found what's left of but I don't think we'll be uh, getting any calls anytime soon. I'll just uh, put it up there for you so you don't lose it. Really? Is this really happening to me today? That guy you're supposed to meet in Pittsburgh, I'm sure he really needs your help. What are you, five years old? Now I want you to get in that truck and I want you touching nothing else. Could you uh, move on a little bit so I can, uh, you know, get in? Okay. I'll just, uh, you know, scurry through the leaves here, the weeds. Uh, can I, uh, can I touch the weed? You're testing me. Okay, uh, well, uh, whoa, oh, okay, I'm gonna touch the door here, get in, and touch the floor, but, uh, touch the seat, oh, yeah, oh, okay, alright, okay, sorry I broke your phone, but right side, you need a new one anyway, <laughs> right, so now you got a new one. Nice and shiny. The ringtones. The guys are really cool ringtones. They got R2D2. Blue! <laughs> got the. I don't forget the sock. Got the sock. No? No? Okay, I'll, I'll just put it back in my bag. Okay. Hello. Hey, Becca. 
Um, Elijah had to go to work. I'm not sure when he'll be back. Yeah, I can meet you there. Is everything okay? All right. Well, I will see you in a few minutes. Okay, bye. Do you have a pillow in here? No. Well, can I lay my head on your shoulder? Look, I gotta get some beauty rest and I can't sleep without a pillow. Here. Mmm, Old Spice. <laughs> oh, Harley Davidson. You right? No. My dad was a biker. Yeah. Alright. Well, wake me up when we get there. What's up? Um, let's order first. Okay. What can I get you guys? Um, I'll just have a water, please. Uh, yeah, same. And um, may I just have two slices of bacon, my eggs over easy, a slice of French toast, and do you guys still have the chili fries? No, we don't. Sorry. Oh, oh that's okay. Um, then I'll just have the hash browns. Thank you. Hungry today? <laughs> and no coffee. What's going on? <laughs> I um, have some great news. I wanted to tell you before tonight, in person, I am, um, I'm eating for two. Really? No. My baby sister's gonna have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, it certainly wasn't planned, but you know how mom always wanted grandkids. Oh yeah, fully aware. <laughs> Happy. And uh, you are definitely first on our list whenever we need a babysitter. I mean, you were always great with kids. Like, <laughs> you were practically a second mother to me when, when I was little, and oh my gosh. If, if you don't mind me asking, are you, are you, are you guys still trying? What's going on here? No, officer, this guy's pet. It's a kitty. It got out of its bag, and it, we're just trying to catch it. Catch what? That kitty. That's not a cat. It's a, it's a girl, not a boy. Look at cat. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll let you guys off with a warning this time. Keep your truck on the road in between the lines and I suggest you get control over that whatever that is that is not a cat. I don't want to see you two again. Thank you, officer. Thank you. I don't want to hear one more word out of you. But not one more word. What about no. You? No. No. Go. Okay. No, get out of the truck and go in the woods. Maybe you can find a puddle of water out there for your rat while you're there too. It's not a rat. It's a kitty. Here, hold kitty. Don't go in the house! Hey!
uh, pardon me. Um, my, f the guy I'm riding with just walked into your house there to find some water for his, um, pet. Uh, is there anyone in there? Oh, my name's Gene. I, and this isn't my house. This is Miss Maggie Johnson's house. It's a bed and breakfast. I, I just help out around here with the yard work and, you know, feeding the chickens. Yeah. I'm Elisha. Uh, well, can you tell me how to get to the interstate? Ah, uh, feeling lost, huh? Yeah, I understand that feeling. But then, I called on the name of Jesus, and I was found. That's good. So, can I just stay on this road? Jesus said, if you want to be my disciple, you must deny yourself and then take up the cross daily and follow me. Luke 9.23. Yes, sir. Powerful verse. So, the uh, interstate? Oh, yeah. You, you just want to continue down the road here about three miles until you get to Route 20, and then you want to hang a left, and then you go about half a mile, and then you're going to come to the bridge over the interstate, and the on-ramps are right there. But if you want good directions, then you need to follow Jesus. Now, not just with your works and not just with your, your lips, but with your heart, your soul, your strength, and your mind. Okie doke. Oh, hey, it looks like that guy went in the house. Is the old woman home? Oh, well, if he went in there, he, he, he won't soon be coming out. Now, Maggie really enjoys good company. It's not need to get moving. Oh, Thank it's you. just a gate. It's just a squeak, squeak, squeak. Little oil, tap, 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 and ooh, it's all done. Come on, you got time. James writes, you should visit orphans and widows in their affliction. Thank you, Gene. I have some tools in my truck. Can I borrow your phone, please? So I can call and change my appointment to later in the day. I always keep my phone on me. See, I told you you'd do it. Wide is the gate, broad is the path that leads to man's destruction. And there are many who go in by it, because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way that leads to life. And there are few who find it. Pawn off anymore, your chore is on me, and it's going to lead to your destruction. All good as new. Well, would you look at that? Sonny used to do most of the fixing up around here. Tommy used to help some too. Still, I'm, I'm grateful, Elijah. I'm grateful. Thank you. Elisha and Elijah, like in the Bible. Hmm. Well, you're very welcome. Now we have to get going. Are you coming? Yep. Bye, Kate. Thanks, now, Maggie. Now remember, if you see a no-eyed cat in the road, help him get across. He can't see you, but if you call to him, he'll hear you. His name's 2020. What's that? What's that look? What is that? Oh, I'm just breathing. No, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little hot. I need to... I need to, uh... did not just throw up in my glove box. I did just throw up in your glove box. I shouldn't have had that fourth piece of cake. Can you, can you smell that? Can you smell that? Yeah, it's, it's cake, banana slurpee, a ladybug, and some bacon. I don't know where the bacon came from, but there's bacon in there. No, you have a problem. And if I wasn't late for my already rescheduled appointment, I'd drop you off somewhere. 
Maybe I should just save time and just throw you out. Oh, come on, man. It's an honest mistake. I'll clean it up, okay? Well, look on the bright side, though. I mean, if you hadn't dumped out most of my banana slushy, there's no way the glove box would have held it all. I just wouldn't open it for a while. It's kind of gross. You smell bananas? <sighs> Down. Maybe that smell will be gone by the time I get back. Hey, uh, thanks for the ride, Robbie. I'm usually a much better traveling companion. You know, well, sorry for the. Yeah, good luck you know. showing whoever, whatever. Well, I hope things go smooth for you today, Robbie. It was fun. Maybe we can do it again sometime. Yeah. Hi, Hi. Uh, my name is Elisha Stark. I had an earlier appointment, but we... Yes, we got your message. Just go ahead and sign in. Okay. And then you can have a seat. Thank you. Thanks. You guys got a couple of seconds to talk? Okay. We'll see. Hey, buddy, you want someone to talk to later? Why don't you, why don't you come over to my house? We can watch Pittsburgh Steelers and have some borscht. Yeah, yeah, I like borscht and the Steelers. Oh. Hold on a second, man. Somebody's talking to me. Yeah, I'll come over say? for borscht and Steelers. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I was talking to my friend on the phone. Oh, right. Okay. Take care. Go Steelers. Yeah. I like the cat. Go Pittsburgh Steelers. Thank you. Nice kitty in your head there. That's really cool. Now, I'll be back next weekend, Aunt Maggie. Now, is there anything else you want me to do before I leave? No, no, you need to get on the road. It was nice having some company today, though. Them boys seemed real nice. All righty, then. Now, you tell Sonny I said goodbye. Sonny? Sonny's been dead for years. Are you feeling all right? I'll see you, Maggie. All right. Oh, hey. Can I help you? Uh, no, no, I, I want to help you. Help me with what? I don't need a man. Okay, I just want to help you be a follower of Jesus. Here, it's right in my book. Let me show you. Well, wait, it's, look, come out. Look, I'll use my Jesus voice. Listen, the only kind of followers that I am interested in are on Twitter. Hashtag, I'm out. Hey, man, need a hand? Oh, yeah, man. I need some help. Can you give me some money for some food? 
Oh, well, you like Slurpees? Well, why don't we just go down to the Four Seasons and have some caviar and champagne? It's even better. Man, I was just being sarcastic. I just need some. Oh, okay. Well, I saw the a diner down the, down the street. What was that? Uh, Pete's. Pete's. Yeah, Pete's. Yeah, yeah, that works for me. Yeah. All right. Hey, would you mind uh, pushing my cart while I uh, carry my bag? Sure, no problem. Just bust it. Just put back and we'll be back. Yeah, no worries. No worries. All right. Here we go. What kind of crackerjack question is that? What, what, what easy to make Captain Slurpee? What is he with my shopping cart? This is the most, my most valuable prized possession. Yeah, yeah, I can tell. It still has that new shopping cart smell. Uh, yeah, I bet you could ride this all over town. Hey, I'll race you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. to be honest. Did you bring a wife? No, she doesn't know I'm here. Oh. So, is everything operating normal? Well, I wish I had good news for you, but I will have to agree with all of your previous consultation that having children the conventional way is just not for you and your wife. I'm really sorry I have to come all the way up just to hear that. Isn't there anything I can do? I mean, I, I gave up caffeine, I switched to boxers, I take cold showers. I know, but I'm sorry. Not according to those test results. Um, it's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. I hope you have a nice trip home. Thank you, Dr. Wilson. Yeah, Kitty 2.0. Yes. Hey, I got an idea. Let's go find some people to talk to. Control. I give you 
Is this funny to you? Why? Am I good enough to know my own father? And now I'm not good enough to be a father myself? What do you have against me? Hey. Where are you? I've been trying to call you all day. All I ever wanted was to be a dad. To my wife and child. How to swing a bat. Ride a bike. All this love I got tucked away. Um, I just had breakfast with Becca and all of the time. Let me to deny myself? What for? You denied me everything I want already! I've been a good person my whole life, and what do I get in return? Broken dream. Emptiness. I can't satisfy. You have got to be kidding me! Didn't I tell you I didn't want to see you again? You want to know why I pulled you over this time? No, sir. Did God tell you to make my day even worse than it already is? It is against the law to drive on the highway with a passenger in the back of your pickup truck. What are you talking about? Sir, I did not even know he was back I, there. I, I, I'm going to go have a word with your friend. Then I'll come back and talk to you. He's not my friend. How you doing? <laughs> All right. Why are you... uh? Riding back here. Uh, well, here, I right here. I'll, I'll just go ahead and hop on out. So, you know, that way, everything's kosher. And, all right. All right. You want to explain to me what's going on? Oh, well, you know, I'm, uh, my, he is like my best friend. Go back to elementary school, and then grammar school, and then junior high, and then high school. He went to college someplace, but I didn't really go to college because I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Why are you in the back? Well, uh, it was hot. So I... You decided to go back there? Oh, well, you know, it was. he wasn't too sad to see me back there. He was kind of, you know, kind of happy about it, but... What is that smell in there? I think he ate something kind of weird. Yeah, um... Yeah, let me take your bag. Okay. Why don't you wait back here on the side of the road? On the side of the road? Just right over here. I'm going to have a word with your friend, and then, okay. uh... Then you're going to jump in the front of this vehicle. Okay. In the... In the on like on the hood, like no, you're gonna get in the front seat, and front the, seat. then you guys are gonna get out of here. Gotcha. Okay, you need to be more clear with your words because I don't know what you're talking about. You got it. Okay, just just step on over there, over here. Yes. Yeah. All, All right. right. Deal with you in a minute. All right. Okay. Here's what's gonna happen. Okay. You are gonna let your friend ride in the front seat of this car. You're gonna give him a ride home after you clean out whatever the heck. Is that awful smell? But you, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. All right, he, he says you're your friends. I just, it's not okay to be a bully. Got it? All right. I'm going to tail you guys until you're out of my county, and I do not want to ever see you here again. Jump in the front. Surprise! Well, he was nice, wasn't he? What a jolly fellow he was. I kind of liked him. You know, maybe we should have him come to lunch with us. I heard you're yelling at God, and, uh... Sounds like you had some bad news with the doctor. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. But I, I, I have something that might make you feel better. It's Kitty 2.0! <laughs> Whoa! Get that rat away from me! Oh, he's up it's a rat! He's up It's a rat! He's cold and upset! It's a rat! Oh, it's a rat! He's upset! Oh, 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 he
another saying for you. There's more than one way to skin a cat. I'm gonna kill that hey, cat! Hey, drop the weapon! Drop the weapon and put your hands in the air. What, are you gonna tase me? Tase me! Oh, he asked for it. He did. He did. All right, I'm getting ready to go talk to your your friend out there. Is there anything you want to tell me first? He's not my friend. He's crazy. Hey, I don't like bullying or name calling. I told you that. Thank you. Look, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Do I get a phone call? Look at that. Your name is Elisha, and his name is Elijah. Can't remember too much of that old Bible story. Which one followed the other? Well, both your records are clean. Phone call? All right, we're going to get to that. Okay, first of all, I just need to make sure this Elisha Bumgardner is competent enough to press charges. Charges? Oh, please, sir, just bring him in here and you'll see. Even though he's a little awkward, I didn't abuse him in any way. His cat got oh, loose. Hold on. He's a traveling zoo. Hey, relax. I'm going to go talk to him right now. I'm going to get his side of the story. I'll tell you this right now. Doesn't look good for you. All right. How you doing? You all right? How are you doing? Tell me how you know Elisha. His name's Robert. Um, but I met him at the gas station this morning uh, when he hit me with his truck. And then uh, he took me to Pittsburgh. Well, we didn't make it to Pittsburgh, but we we're on the way to Pittsburgh. So he hit you with his truck. Then he gave you a false name. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Then he coaxed you into his vehicle for some sort of road trip. Now I want you to get in that truck. Yeah, I guess, but really he just he just wants to be a dad. I guess I always wanted to be a dad. Right. Are you saying he kidnapped you and made you his son? No. No, no, he wouldn't do that. No. Well, maybe an honorary son. No, because he likes me. You did not just throw up in my glove box. But, uh, but really, it really doesn't matter because I'm older than he is anyway. So. Tell me what you remember about his uh, his behavior on the ride to Pittsburgh. Did he did he uh, did he yell at you? Maybe I should just save time and just throw you out. Did he did he treat you like a child? What are you five years old? Well, he did yell at me because I was talking too much. Uh, and then his phone went missing, and he blamed it on me and said it was acting like a five. -year -old. And then uh, I get a little sick in his car, and he says he's going to throw me out the door onto the road. He's going to throw you out. Yeah. So, so is it safe to say that you wish to press charges against him for the way he treated you? What do, what do you mean? Um, do you want him to get in trouble for, for being mean to you? No, no. He, Robert's my best friend. No, no. I don't, I don't want him to get in trouble. No. Let me just get this, this whole thing straight, okay. right? You see a guy at a gas station, and to to break the ice, you, you trick him into believing that he hit you with his truck. Then you make him give you a ride to Pittsburgh, right? And then along the way, you lose his phone and you vomit in his glove box. Then while he's away from his vehicle, you hide in the back and you hit your ride home, bringing another animal into his truck that causes him to freak out. I assume you and I are both in danger, and I tase him. Well, no, no, because see, you didn't tase him until he asked you to tase him. So that's that's on you and Robbie back there. But uh, you know, he 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 seems like you know mean guy, but he's just he just found out he couldn't be a dad today, and you know we should give him a break. Why do you do this? I just wanted to help him find a relationship with God. Stay right here.
you hear all that? Look, I can't tell you how sorry I am. He obviously had a very rough day as it is, and I just made it rougher. Can I go home? Of course. Hey, Robbie, you're out. Was it hard time or hardly timely? Plenty of things work. Can I ask you a question, something, Elisha? Sure. Did him talking to you work? What do you mean? Him talking to you about God. So he was trying to lead you into a relationship with Christ. Did that work? Do you really think God would use someone like that? Do you think that man's qualified to lead anyone? Well, let me tell you what I have learned. God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the call. Leroy! 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 Uh, oh, hello, Sheriff. Uh, we're here for the, the truck. Oh, that antique truck, right? We've got ourselves a little problem. Our paperwork has it registered as a classic car. Well, I understand, Leroy. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You have a mighty fine day. <laughs> well, we're going to get you your truck, but it might not be until then. I'll wait here. Come on. Come on, we gotta make things right. Come on, I, I got an idea. Come on. Come on. It's gonna be all right. I know this little bed and breakfast type place. She's a great cook. You'll love it. And we'll get your truck delivered to you as soon as I can get it. Right, jump in. What about him? What about him? Where's he gonna go? We're releasing him. That's it? You're not making accommodations for him? You know he's just gonna find someone else to follow his hair. Sure, he means well. But it's either the bed and breakfast or my place, and I can guarantee you he is not staying at my place. And they could take the two of us. I'm sure that would not be a problem. Hey! Come on, let's go. Thanks, Robbie. I get sick in the back. Get in the back. I'm too late. You want to hit your head? Go. Hey, Mrs. Johnson. Uh, you got any room for a couple of guests tonight? I always have room. No one ever stays here. You wouldn't happen to have anything to eat, would you? I think these two are mighty hungry. I made Sonny's favorite, chicken pot pie. Ooh, chicken pot pie. I love chicken pot pie. Yeah. I'll have your truck delivered as soon as you can, okay? Maggie, can I borrow your phone, please? I want to call my wife to come get me if it's okay. Are you sure? I got plenty of room. Wait, how do you know my name? Well, we, I told him. Um, well, if I can remember where I put it, you're more than welcome to use it. Is it in your apron? Wow, that was a good guess. Here you go. So you uh, said something about chicken pot pie? My favorite. Just my luck, she will answer her phone now. 
Hey, it's me. I'm all right. The truck's been impounded in a garage. I won't get it back till tomorrow morning. I'm in some bed and breakfast in the twilight zone. Call me back at this number when you get this. Are you hungry? No, I'm just waiting for my wife to call back. Is there some place with less traffic where I can sit down? I can give you the Calico Courtyard down the hall for a store on your left. Mm -hmm. Hello. Honey, where are you? What's going on? Are you okay? You would not believe the day I've had. Can you come and pick me up? What? No, where are you? <laughs> I'm on my way to Revival at church. Well, I need you to turn around and come back and pick me up. My truck is in some garage fitness center, and I can't get it till tomorrow, which means I can't come home until tomorrow unless you come back and get me now. No. What's wrong with your truck? Nothing. Can you please just come and get me? Explain to me how you can just leave, not tell me anything, not answer your phone all day. It's a long story and I don't want to get into it. Just let me give you the address of this bed and breakfast and then you come and get me now. I am supposed to be baptized tonight. I am in the car with Becca right now. Are you kidding me? And that's more important than your husband? Oh, I did not say that. All I know is that you're somewhere and you're supposed to be here. And you're barking orders at me like an, your employee. <laughs> I want you to come and get me. Okay, well, j just send me the address, okay? <sighs> Inherit money from late uncle. Collect $2,000. Pay up, old bag! Oh, hey, Robbie! You're back! We're playing a game. Wanna play? She cheats, careful. No. Do you happen to have a card where you can upload minutes onto this phone? It ran out before I finished talking with my wife, and I... Or do you have a landline phone? Don't have a landline, but a card with minutes. I don't remember. Maybe Tommy would know. Well, where does he live? He lives in Ohio. He comes out over every couple weeks just to help me out with the yard work. Oh, did I call Jean Tommy again? Is there a house nearby with a landline? Well, the next house down might, but it's several miles away. Can I borrow your car? Don't have a car. They took my license. What good's a car to me? Oh, oh, I know. You Don't could talk to me. Are you sure, Maggie, you can't remember where the prepaid card is? Well, I think it's about bedtime. Sonny used to always go to bed early. Early to bed, early to rise, he would say. I was beating you anyway. If that counts as a forfeiture, I win! <laughs> I'm going to give you the Siamese room. It's identical to your friend's room here, and it's right across the hall. Will you fetch my bags, please? What are you doing? I'm sorry. I thought maybe I could find the card for your phone. I can tell you're searching for something, but it ain't here. Now your friend has a lot to offer to you. Maybe you should talk to him. I think he could help you. Who, that guy? First, he's not my friend, and second, he is not capable of helping anyone. And you know what they say. God doesn't always call the qualified but he does qualify the cult. Did the sheriff tell you to say that? Look, I just want to go home. Me too, but it ain't my time yet. And in my condition, I might forget you're a guest here. And if I catch you going through my things again, I might think you're a thief. And since I can't use my phone to call for help, well, I might have to take matters into my own hands. Now, get on to bed. Tomorrow's a new day.
You left me. You left me all alone. I wasn't good enough. I was never good enough. can't be a father. And I never had a father. And I blame you. Son, I love you. The Lord loves you. There's so many barriers in your way right now. But if you come to the Lord, He will help you. I promise you. I love you. I know. Heavenly Father, I've had you all wrong. Ever since I was a kid, I thought of you as a glorified hall monitor who only cared about how well we behaved. Lord, I know I can never measure up. I've fallen short. I've sinned. And that sin has put a gap between us that has haunted me my whole life. I've tried to fill that void with everything except you. Jesus, I know you came to this earth and you lived a perfect and blameless life. And then you died on a cross in my place. And you took the punishment for my sin. But you were raised from the dead and you took victory over sin and Satan and hell and death. And because you live, you bridge the gap between a pure and holy God and a sinner like me. I'm so sorry for my sin. I ask for your forgiveness. I accept your forgiveness. Come into my life. Live in me. Fill my emptiness. I ask you to help me love you no matter my circumstance. I give all to you. And it doesn't matter that I can't have children because all that matters is that I'm a child of yours. I make you Lord of my life. I give you control. I pray that I can honor you with my actions and that I can love you with all of my heart, soul, strength, and mind. And as I begin a relationship with you, I pray that I can deny myself. And then I can take up my cross daily. And then I might follow you. Lord, thank you so much for what you've done for me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey Maggie, do you have any marshmallows for my hot chocolate? In the pantry, dear. Okay. You know, you remind me a lot of my husband. Oh yeah? How so? Well, you were both bold. <laughs> he was a man that was hell-bent on doing things his own way. It wasn't till our son Tommy passed away that he really turned to God. All my preaching and nagging never really sunk in. 
He never really had any more children. He started renting rooms out here, turning this place into a bed and breakfast. I started collecting cats. Now, no one ever stays here. And it's just me and cats. Oh, he sounds like he was a great man. Oh, he was. He was. Some mornings I find myself calling him to come to breakfast. On the good days, he does. Hey, Maggie? You have a marshmallow. <laughs> well, it looks like your truck's fixed. I want the recipe to that angel food. It was fantastic. I love it. Oh! Stick him out! Keep your eye out for 2020! Thank you very much for having us and for everything. Here you go. Thank you very much. You got your temporary antique tag since your truck's over 25 years old. And you got 30 days before you need to get new plates. Appreciate it. Well, I'll be back soon. I noticed a few other things around here that accuse of fixing up. You're welcome anytime. What a couple of days, huh? Oh, no, I can't remember when I've had so much fun. It's awesome. You're not just following me around. You're seeking his will, seeking God. Yeah, you know, I, I, uh, I got to a, a place in my life where I just had to, to hit my knees, you know, like you did this morning. And um, I told God that he could take me wherever he wanted and do whatever he wants with me. And I pray that he would use me. Well, if I might ask, what finally happened that made you hit your knees, prayer and surrender like that? I grew up bouncing between, you know, foster home to foster home, and I always seemed like I was never really good enough for anyone. You know, once they got to know me, um, found out how, how weird I was, and I guess kind of annoying. It got so bad they didn't even make appointments with prospective parents, you know. And it seemed like I'd just never get adopted, never get out of there. So they sent me up to my room and kind of hoped I'd stay there till I was 18, then they could be rid of me. <laughs> And it probably would have worked out that way if it wasn't for Uncle Tony. It wasn't really my uncle. Just a guy, he would come by and he'd visit me and invite me to church and youth group. Um, you know, he found out who I was and he got to know me and he liked me for me being me. You know? Really kind of the only family I ever had. He was never able uh, to adopt me, but he opened my eyes to the love of Christ. And he got me a job at the church, you know, cleaning up, and me some odd jobs around town so I'd have some money. And he even worked it out for me to be able to to sleep at the dark parsonage for free. And he died a few weeks ago. He left me what little money he had in his Bible. And in his Bible, he, uh, in the pages of Luke 9, he had this piece of paper with a prayer on it. God, Elijah, is a special soul, but feels powerless and worthless. I pray that you will lead him down a path where he can find his worth and that others will be able to see it as well. I pray that he will become a true follower of you, that he would 
do great things in your name and would be an inspiration to those that need to hear your truth. Lord, I thank you for Elijah. I ask that he will know how much he has made a difference in my life. It surpasses anything I've done for him. So I um, just take this with me. Where I go. I'd say his prayer is being answered. Because God has definitely called and qualified you to lead me for this eventful couple of days. I called myself a Christian, but I couldn't follow Christ. I was just going through the motions, going to church, singing hymns, throwing money in the plate, say grace before meals. It was just a show. I just thought being a Christian was like a like a to-do list. But you've taught me that it's a relationship based in faith. And we are not called to sit on the sidelines. You've blessed me, Elijah. And by most people's standards, this has been an awful trip. But I consider this the greatest journey I've ever been on. I've surrendered my life to God, denied myself, taken up my cross, and I'm pursuing Him. Finally. become a follower all right so where are you gonna drop me off where do you want to go well I was kind of hoping that I could uh, stay with you uh, I don't know how my wife would feel about that well you could call her and ask her I'd love to but I don't have a phone remember oh come on it's the 20th century everybody has a phone well here Here's mine. Have you had this the whole trip? Yeah. And you never... Never mind. I didn't get a chance to charge it last night, so it might be a little low on battery. Hello? Hey, it's me. I'm on my way home. Oh, that's great. Okay, awesome. Um, wow, you sound like you're in a better mood. Yeah. I'm sorry about last night. I can't wait to see you. And I have a surprise. Really? Um, but I have something to tell you first before you get back. Okay. Um, Becca's pregnant. That's great! Tell her I said congratulations. You're not upset at all? Why? This is great news. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh. I feel like a gigantic jerk. I did not think he would take it this well. Um, you know, since we can't... Yeah, I know. This is a good thing. Well, I do have something else to tell you, but if it's not, we can't. Hello? Sarah? Huh. You didn't mention me. Yeah, I know. Your phone died before I got to it. Huh. All right. So, uh, so now what? Well, now I bring you home with me, and when my wife meets you, maybe she'll let you stay with us for a while till you get back on your feet. I just don't know how she's going to feel about us just showing up unannounced. Oh, come on. I'm lovable. She'll like me. Besides, you know what they say. When the flowers bloom, the bees come uninvited. Nobody says that. You know what? When we get there, just let me do the talking. 
And don't be weird. B B B. Buzz buzz buzz. Sorry. Hey, you know what I just thought of? It's almost Christmas. I love Christmas. I love to sing Christmas songs. Let's sing Christmas carols. Dashing no through. singing. How about let's have a silent night? Ooh, silent. No, not the song. The actual silence. I can't wait to ask your wife what her favorite animal is. But wait, I, I, I can guess it. It's probably a bald eagle. You know why? Because you're bald! <laughs> oh, we're going to have so much fun. It's funny. That's a good one. I get it. Elisha and Sarah adopted a newborn baby boy. The family was delighted. They called him Eli. Elisha became the dad he always wanted to be. And Elijah finally became that honorary uncle. Elijah stayed with Elisha and Sarah for a few months until he found a job. You guessed it, Maggie's farm. God, you don't need me, but somehow you want me. Heaven wants me So this world has lost its grip on me